Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition really quick. Uh, for the moment I am not using my normal mic. This is the laptop mic so it sounds crunchy. I apologize. I have to explain. For one thing we haven't watched Mass Effect 3 in a while. That is partly because these videos got totally crunched. Uh, something happened in the recording where the first two episodes of the Leviathan DLC were basically looked like uh, PowerPoints. You know, just like just constant frame crunching where it was just like you get like a one frame every two seconds and it was really really bad uh the audio though was fine so i went back and i replayed these two segments these two episodes while listening to my audio which i have like to my commentary which i have done in the past and it's worked out kind of okay uh, but just know the audio is the original reaction. The video is me trying to go back and remember what I was doing while I said things. So it's it's always interesting. Luckily, it's only two videos. Luckily, somehow, um, it it I I did not even do the entire Leviathan DLC that night like I planned, which is a godsend in retrospect. <laughs> so I didn't have to redo any more than I already did. If it had been more than this, I would have just replayed it. <laughs> honestly but uh yeah i think that's everything so if you have any questions let me know but like i said should only be these first two videos they'll be a little funky and uh the microphone that i use is my normal yeti microphone so it won't sound as crunchy as this so yeah really quick done with that so we'll get on with the regular video hello everybody and welcome back to mass effect 3 legendary edition where we have not been in a while and i decided after stalling for 74 episodes not really i mean obviously i had to wait a little bit but we are going to do the leviathan dlc today that's not the one i wanted this is the one we have had for a very long time dr bryson is working on a classified project and needs help contact him on his lab in the citadel it is not the citadel dlc um that is I don't even we don't have that yet maybe surely we do have that um, but this is the Leviathan DLC, which is a super lore heavy one, and I'm very excited to do it. Let me actually make sure. Yeah, okay. Or else I don't have to do anything. You let, There's like three parts to it, and so you gotta do them in their order in different places. Oh, that's right. I was like scanning like mad for the last little bit. We out. <laughs> the Reapers are everywhere. Look at that. Sorry, I try to move, so, like, the, for whatever reason, the, I almost said the field maps, the, uh, galactic map is, like, so sensitive with the mouse, so I have to move very slowly. The Asari counselor wants us to help, that's right, with, uh, Thestia, but we have to do the Cid, not the Cid, the, uh, Dr. Bryson Leviathan DLC first. I'm kind of stalling, because I'm just, like, kind of scared. <laughs> I'm always scared to start something new. <laughs> Is it okay? We ch how about you? How about you calm down, game? Press escape and blah blah blah. There's my girl. There she is. Oh, she's so beautiful. I want you to match this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. I'm Commander Shepard. We've Commander been expecting Shepard. you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. Wow. The, 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 the upgraded graphics. Assignment. Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, and stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. I have only done this DLC once before, so I, this is basically like playing it all over again. <laughs> I'm like, yay! <laughs> um, I just remember being blown away by some of the stuff that happens, but I couldn't tell you specifically. Well, I could tell you something specifically, but not everything. Um, but isn't that so fun? You have to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Sounds like stuff that was, like, very niche and, like, looked down upon back in the day, and now it's like, oh, no, actually, the specialists who did that, that we berated, we need your help. And they're like, ha, at least I get validation before I die. Is that this? Nope. I see I'm used to playing Baldur's Gate and I have to read out loud. I do not. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. His face scares me. Anything that can give us an edge. 
Then how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my mm, lifetime. Very fair. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Mm, I mean, I think it's good to know more about, you know, your enemy in a lot of ways. I could have used your help three Meh. years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. <gasps> Hadley, do you have the data? No! <gasps> Commander Shepard, I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Oh no... Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you- Did hard? I put you I'm in fine, that? But I could use your help sorting That looks really here. awesome! Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. Did I- What? I... What's happening? Yeah, I mean, he obviously was not in control of himself. He's obviously been reaper -ified. Did you see what Edie was wearing? Did I give her that? Or is that, like, new to the DLC? Because, wow, it looked really good. <laughs> she had, like, she had, like, some beef to her arms a little bit. Some spiky spine stuff going on. And that out, the, the, the whatever fake metal cloth thing that was going over her looked pretty good. Did give her a boob window, but, like, the rest of the way back in. Um, anyway, did the guy die? He got shot. It looked like he got shot in the shoulder. Not his heart. But I think he might have died. Um, and what was he saying? He said something that I was like, oh, um. I had something to say. I totally got distracted by you now. <laughs> you tell me. I, I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then it was dark, Oh, I remember. Cold. Like, I was someplace He's else. been here for a few months. And then? I don't know. A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was a oh, loud I'm not, noise. I'm not going to be mean. That was you shooting him. <gasps> he did die. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. Uh, no, I'm just surprised that they let a guy who... This is apparently, like, I don't know, like a top secret, like, you know, not alliance, but, like, government thing trying to track down reapers and like their history and so you would have to think right that like the reapers would use their agents to target that when they got wind of it because of course they would and you let a guy who's been on citadel for like three months be a part of this like i don't know i guess he could have come from like a different facility that was like highly trusted you know he's like he was probably part of something that was trusted but like if you can't know exactly where he's been since before the reaper invasion you know like i don't know he, he anything could happen right and he could be like bamboozled so that's my shock because he's like he's been here for a few months i'm like why is he even here <laughs> so someone else pulled that trigger but i would never do that Commander, he's just a little guy this does resemble reports of indoctrination yeah 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 indoctrination me what about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Uh-oh. Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it, get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. What do you think? He's been indoctrinated! Yes, Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating? Yeah. I think you're really on to something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, 
The Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. We remember that. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. Hackett probably just stands in front of his hologram thing there was all also day. A follow up message from a few weeks later. Like talking Admiral, to people. The Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Uh, we always get here just a teensy bit too late. <laughs> well, I guess we kind of got here right on time. Um, but yeah. Man, I, I truly think if you're, like, the commander of a war, like, all you're doing is standing or, like standing in place, like, taking and receiving, or, like, receiving and sending messages, which must be, like, the worst to have to keep track of all that stuff. Um... I mean, Leviathan could be useful. I don't know why. I mean, it could be dangerous, too. It could be both. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet, given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. Also, they just straight up have an artifact here that, like, this this is apparently, like, I don't, a Reaper-ish artifact, and they're like, no, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it's not indoctrinating us. Yeah, I, I, you know what I mean? Also, I will never understand why they have pictures of Thane on these walls. Like, he, this picture of Thane is always on, like, the missing persons board, too. And they just have a bunch of, like, repeating pictures. I wonder if there's a mod that, like, changes. Not in this one, because this is, like, the Leviathan stuff. Um. Location unknown. Temperature. What's the connection? I just keep picturing that meme with the guy. The red string guy. Who that guy? <laughs> Oh, and those are the little little creatures. Not Arachni, but we can fight those on very, like, Venus-type worlds. Are you following me? Well, I thought you were just gonna stand there. Hang on, Edie, come here. Uh, I think this outfit is really cool. I like that you can see some more of, like, the inner workings of, like, her arms and stuff. The only thing is that whoever made the boob window obviously put it so that her nipples would be sticking out if she had any, which is very weird. It's a weird look. Like, I don't know. Some, whoever designed Edie had a massive fetish that somebody just let go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why is that here? Oh my gosh! I know he's probably sending, like, electrical currents through it. Dude's just got bone like like husk remnants like they're bones that have been modified by like the ele like the electronics like the machinery right but eee! Are those those are not those are like turian feet or quarian feet maybe those are not human they're not human uh foot bones anyway they're all fused and only have limited, like, three toes, max. Yeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Oh, big game time. I'm pretty sure we have to like look at these and it'll like give us clues. There's another Prothean. Does this disc, tell us where uh, Garneau went? Beacon. No. But we may be able to like narrow to down around. his location. Golf. If we find clues, he was Solid state screens in this day and age when everything's holographic. I remember crawling through this place and looking at all the pictures and being like, mm, clues. Also, I think, is that, is the head follow, the head is following me, I think? Yep, cool, love that for me, love that. <laughs> These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory Golly. Loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following oh. a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We Spooky. need to find data matching dates and locations for... <laughs> Here's a time and date chart for the crimes. <laughs> Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results from the <laughs> Shepard just like opens it and like doesn't even do it, just looks over at you and you mean, is this, is this the answer? And he's like, no, you idiot. She's like holding my hand and leading me through. Like, no, Shepard, you can do this, though, you know? Sovereign. Vanguard of our destruction. How's that working Vanguard out for you, of guy? <laughs> I love that. Vanguard of our destruction. Sick. I'm gonna look around first. It looks so nice. The game is so nice, but that guy's face, I was like, wow, your face looks very different now. Not, like, super different, but kind of different. Also, <laughs> they just... Eddie, they're surprised. I remember being mad about this. I was like, they are surprised anybody got indoctrinated when they're like keeping an actual piece of Reaper. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands, it won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? The hell does that mean? It means uh, he's actually alive and uh, the bullet hit, um, or the energy beam, uh, whatever it was, uh, hit the data chip and he survived. That's because it was in his pocket. You know, classic. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rakdai. Their movements during the Rakdai war. Yep, that's what they, that's what they implied, too. But the timing is wrong. And Rakdai weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rakdai to fight the Reapers? Hmm. What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rakdai fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Rakdai ships, it may help us Somehow, I think search. Edie's face is almost more expressive than anyone else's because of how, like, smooth and machine-like it is. It doesn't really hit an uncanny valley point that, like, other people's, like, other, like, sentient humanoid creatures' faces kind of get where they look almost machine-like but with skin on them, which is weird. But Edie's is like, ah, oh, yes, it's fine. She's a robot, you know? Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding this search filter to the galaxy Love map. It. By Anne Bryson. No. Age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than I... family? An interesting hypothesis. But I detect no trace of the decryption key in this. It's the girl. It's the little girl oh. in Blasto. Rock. Hmm. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. It's not very organized. He's got it all over the place. Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Keep
Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding the search filter now. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, there's, element zero is rare, but like, still. That would be a lot. But the whole idea is to get as many data filters as possible. This is one of my favorite dinosaurs. It's not the ichthyosaur, which is one of my favorites. It's the other one that I can't remember ever. Like, it's my favorite. I don't remember. Plesiosaur. It's Plesiosaur. Ichthyosaur is the one that looks kind of like an alligator monster. And then the Plesiosaur is the long neck water monster. <laughs> And it's super cool. They're cool dinosaurs. I did. Pro I remember doing projects on them when I was a kid. Oh, is anybody surprised I went into archaeology eventually? Uh, most archaeologists I've talked to, we all like dinosaurs, even if we always get confused for paleontologists and we're not. <laughs> we don't do dinosaurs. But no archaeologist is going to be like, meh, whenever they see a dinosaur bone, we're always like, oh my gosh, dinosaur! <laughs> you know? <laughs> Authorian, right. A life form is oh, wow. A life form discovered on Pharos provides fascinating insight into the life cycle of a truly alien species. Unlike conventionally intelligent life, it does not use mass relays, protein artifacts would not interest it. Also, um the Rachni have already confirmed, the Rachni Queen confirmed that they were being they're they're very susceptible to like basically telepathic or like psychic manipulation, kind of, because of the way that their brains are structured and the way their language is like through like sound color type stuff um they it is easy for them to be manipulated um with something basically like the reaper effect of like brainwashing works really really well on them even without being implanted with tech you know um because you don't need you, need you just need to be near it enough or they project it you know um but I can't, I swear they th they implied it was the Reapers doing it, but he's saying here that that doesn't make sense, that it might be Leviathan um, trying to use the Rachni against the Reapers, but it makes more sense for the Reapers trying to use the Rachni as a, uh, a way to soften up the humanoid species. Um, or any, you know, the current, like, cycle. So a way to soften, soften up the current cycle. Because they were directed to destroy planets. And maybe maybe we'll see something more later. Where it's like, oh yeah, definitely, it was Leviathan. But, uh... Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Commander Shepard claims that Reaper enemies cultivated life to evolve along lines they could predict. Using technology, the Reapers controlled. The Thorian is exception to that rule. It evolved to use organic tools rather than conventional technology. Leviathan must be somehow similar to a survived undetected for so long. The Thorian used pain conditioning to control its victims, using them as manual labor, or even as a man would use his own hands and fingers. I mean, I don't slap my hand if it does something, you know what I mean? I don't stick myself with needles. <laughs> but to be fair, the like, if my hand's not doing what I want, <laughs> but like, uh... Uh, it's different, obviously. The Thorians are trying to use external sources and doesn't feel the pain that they're feeling at all. Um, Commander, I guess it would be like if I had like a bionic hand and it wasn't doing what I wanted, it would be like trying to, I'd have to like go in and like fix some screws or whatever, you know? Uh, Commander Shepard claims that Reapers do the same thing through a different process called indoctrination. Whatever Leviathan is, it must do something similar. It's interesting. I don't remember why he's jumped. Because the Leviathan of Dis is a Reaper that was killed, technically. Um, and that's why they're, like, interested in what killed it. Um, because they want, like, the Alliance and everyone wants to use that to fight Reapers currently. But they, they're calling whatever it was that killed the Reaper a Leviathan. And I'm trying to, I, I feel like I might have, like, missed something where it, like, skipped over why they think it's, the like, a Leviathan when the Leviathan was the name given to the Reaper that the Batarians tried to cover up, you know? Commander Shepard claims, listen here, bucko, I don't need nothing your words about claims. I don't need that from you. Whoa! And using math. Bryson was not merely Gross. trying to sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. 
And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding it now. I like that her visor too in this outfit is like flared at the ends. I don't know if it, I don't think it usually does that in her other designs. I like that. I think it's neat. Kitchen. I think it's it's obviously a researcher's kitchen because it's full of like you know a fax machine. Is this a, or it's like a printer? But this definitely look at this. It's like a giant calculator. No, it looks like a. It, this looks like a fax machine, like straight up. That's so funny. No door, no door. <gasps> Ooh, cool art hidden in the corner. Not this, obviously. This is like a power system, but this. <gasps> oh, this looks like it was probably. Uh, this is how you can sometimes preserve textile fragments, um, by putting it between like two sheets of glass. And I'll probably, you know, for some of it, you'd have to put something else in there, which it's obviously on like a board of some sort. Um, but yeah, this looks like, uh, at first I thought it was just like, oh, a cool painting, but no, he, uh, this looks like, it looks textile to me. You can kind of see like the word, like where my head is, like right along, right, don't stop moving, Shepard. Right above her head, there's like some words along the sides. I do wonder if it's supposed to be a rock art fragment, because later in the game, we will find some rock art that is potential, that is like, related to the reaper um but this looks like a textile fragment to me it's too fragmented rock art doesn't come off like that doesn't look like that comes off in chunks with this modern that modern art or what it's like a building plan yeah oh yeah 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 it looks like a like a planet with like this would be like a setting sun like it's like a service of a planet and there's like some buildings and like a satellite or something that's actually kind of cool there's actually something to it it looks like it represents something which a lot of modern art like the block stuff i'm just like don't get it don't get it dr bryson per your request I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. Our ambassador will issue a full denial. Give me a preliminary analysis. Several million years old at least, and its technology outstrips anything on the Council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the hegemony. One concern, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there, unaccounted for. Irrelevant. Yeah, that seems like a bit of a stretch. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. I can't believe. I can't believe he still has this out. Piece of Tam Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. What child? Take a look at that. I can what? use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right. What child Let's puts a date, the data on their art? Earlier. You know what I'm saying? It's a little odd that he still has art artwork out from his nine from his daughter when she was nine. Like I don't know how many people. I don't know anybody who does that. I'm 33. My mom does not still have art from when I was nine on the refrigerator. <laughs> you know. What do be going on outside? Nothing? I don't want to leave. I have things to do. Things to pick up. Land speed records to break for gliding over the ground really fast. I love the Citadel. I wonder if I could like stick myself in a corner somehow again and like get like a nice video of the Citadel. Ooh, like that, except Edie's in the way. There we go. <laughs> I don't have the fancy uh, remove UI stuff. It's just me. Just a, little, just a little guy. I went upstairs. We do need to check the tablet again. This one's over here. Description complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. 
And I'll bet Garno used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. I think we got all the search filters. And then when we put them all on, it'll give us... Uh, I swear I had to, like, look at... Yeah, okay, okay. Is this Prothean? Yes. You idiot! <laughs> I believe Dr. Bryson and Liara would have had much to discuss. Oh, he Do definitely you know reminded me of her. locations known to have Prothean ruins or artifacts. Of course. I, uh, he definitely gave me the vibe, right? Where it's like, she spent, like, they would have had to have talked, I think. I guess it depends on how long he's been, if he's been doing this research for, like, since before, um, the Reavers were actually real. Like, that people believed it, like, could see them with their own eyes. Um, because Liara's been doing the research for, like, 50 years or something. In Protheans. Um, uh, not in the Reapers, but... They seem like they both would have had very niche interests, and they would have overlapped at some point. It would have been interesting. Okay. Reaper activity. Boop, 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 boop. Based on the search results, Garno is uh -huh. in one of these five systems. I have marked the norm <laughs> with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Prothean artifacts. No results. It's Some so funny she says that because I didn't think relevant. Prothean artifacts would have anything to do with it. Like, I almost think, I almost said it. I feel like that happens a lot where I'm like, no, really, I was thinking it, but like, no one would believe me. <laughs> but I really was. I was like, Prothean artifacts are like, that's a Prothean thing. Like, I don't think the Leviathan, if it was hunting Reapers, would be at all really concerned about how far flung Prothean artifacts are. You know? So it didn't seem like it. And I don't think the element zero is going to matter either. But the Ragnar activity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I think creature sightings and reaper activities are my Three most likely to get I'm results. Zero deposits. Um, and I believe those are the three that we need. We have a match. Ah. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garno. I thought we needed three, but we might, it might be like a trail thing. Where we get to the next location and then we find something else there. But yeah, the element zero was the third parameter requirement. I got everything I want. Return to Normandy. I always feel like I'm gonna get shot when I get in one of these things. Like, that someone's gonna chase me down? Is it gonna happen in this one? Every time I see the hospital, I get sad. Okay, should I go talk to Grandpa? Grandpa? Find Garno. Alright, doesn't look like I need to talk to Grandpa. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. How nice. What a, what a splendid time to end the first episode. Like, it all worked out into one episode like timing wise anyway that's just something that makes me happy so thank you all for joining me i appreciate it really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons first i want to give a shout out to my acorn tier patron thank you so much fame for your support i very much appreciate it and i want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patron risco lido thank you so much for your support i very much appreciate it as well and i want to give an extra extra special shout out to christopher my forest tier patron who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel and i truly cannot thank you all enough um so thank you all again and i will see you in the next one